Hello, I'm Jessica. And I'm Randy. We are members of the Anderson and Vreeland Technologies team. Today we're on site at the lab for Flint Group in Charlotte, North Carolina. In this short video, we will demonstrate how to make a plate using the Flint Group's Next technology. The equipment that we will be using today is the ESCO CDI, the F5 Next exposure frame, and the F5 processor, both manufactured by Flint. These are 50 by 80 inches in size, but the conditions are also available in a 48 by 35 size as well. Flint Next, or new exposure technology, is a way to produce a flexographic flat top dot plate. It uses high energy UV LEDs to promote rapid polymerization in the flexo plate. To start the system up, we must first turn on the main power. This will allow the touch screen to boot up. Once it's booted up, I must depress the own and hold it down until you hear the machine engage. Once it's engaged, you must hit the initialize button to bring the LED into a home position. The LED will index and move into its proper reference location, and now the machine is ready to run. For a demonstration, we will be back exposing a sheet of new ACE material from Flint. This particular material is 067 in thickness, and the new ACE material is actually very similar to the old ACE, but has a few improvements, such as better ink release, um, clearer in color, and better solvent resistance. I'm going to put the material up on the chilled bed of the next exposure system, and we're going to back expose the sheet. Now that our back exposure has completed, we're going to open up the hood, remove the plate, and place it on the CDI so that we can image our file onto the material. Need to remove the cover sheet. So now that we have back exposed our plate material, we need to mount it on the drum of the CDI. So I'm going to line up the edge of the material with the cover door, open up the cover, rotate the drum back so that the clamp on the drum lines up with the material. Open up the clamp using the foot pedal and rotate the drum back slightly to get the material underneath. Okay. Open up the clamp again to get the tail edge of the material underneath. And close it down. The material is now mounted on the drum. The drum door can be closed and we can send our file over for imaging. So now that my files are all arranged, I'm gonna hit the expose button, send the job to the expose program. Once my job has arrived in the exposed list, I'm then ready to go ahead and hit the start button. Now that our imaging has completed, I'm gonna open up the cover Take a look at my plate. And if everything's good, I'm going to open up the clamp and remove the plate from the drum. Okay. I'm now going to take the plate from the CDI and move it over to the next exposure system. We have positioned the image material all the way to the right-hand side of the exposure frame. This unit here is the UV LED that will traverse across the plate surface. If I position the plate to the right-hand side, the UV LED only has to move to the edge of the material if I set the width of the material in the program. So now I'm going to move over to my control panel, type in the width of the material, and the UV LED parameters will start. So I'm going to set the width of my material to be 1040. Set my cycle to do two passes. Once the UV LED exposure is complete, I'm going to set a three minute face exposure with the bank lights to set the shoulder of the dot. And hit the start button.
Now that we've finished the next exposure on the plate, I'm going to take the ACE material, punch it, so that I can put it on the pin bar and run it through the F5 processor for washout. The plate is now punched and I can put it on the pin bar. Now that the plate is punched, I'm going to fit it onto the pin bar. I'm going to feed the plate into the machine and hit the start button. The plate has come out of the processor. I now need to remove it from the pin bar and put it in the dryer. The plate should stay in the dryer for about 90 minutes or until it's back to its gauge height. The plate is finished in the dryer. It's been in there drying for about an hour and a half. I'm now going to take it out of the dryer and put it in the light finisher and post exposure unit. Our plate is now finished in the post-exposure detac unit. I'm going to take it out. It can be cut down and then taken to the press room floor. We have finished our process of producing a digital flexo plate using the next exposure system from the Flint Group. As you can see, the process is very similar to producing a standard digital plate, with the exception of an automated two-stage exposure cycle. This exposure cycle rapidly cures the surface polymer of the plate. The UV LEDs have about a 10,000 hour life expectancy, so you should not have to worry about replacing them. This quick cure process gives you a flat top dot without the use of additional consumables. For more information about the Nylaflex Next Exposure Unit from the Flint Group, please see our website at andersonbreland.com.